Hey guys, how's it going? Bull HD back again. Today we've got something a little bit different. We're playing Roman Atwood's new game called Smile Inc. I've had a lot of fun playing this game lately. So as you can see, I've got the Roman character up to level 14 and a bunch of heroes, oh, sorry, not heroes, a bunch of characters at level 5. Still got Pa and Little Brit to get up to level 5, but I'll do that later on. Anyhow, today what we're going to be doing is just seeing how far we can get with a Roman character. My high score is 755 meters. It's not amazing. I mean, the top player I'm pretty sure at the minute has like 2,500 meters or something. But he's winning by a long shot. I reckon second place is... A, he was about 1,800. So, if you guys haven't played this game yet or seen it, this is a extremely addictive game if you play it you've got a pretty high chance of getting addicted but it takes a while to sort of uh, I don't know learn how to play this I mean when I first started I thought getting to level 3 was extremely hard but as you can see I've already gotten to level 3 now so I've gotten a little bit better since I've started playing this game and we just got crushed by a tire Damn, we got to floor three. That was that was crap. We need to get. Let's see if we can get to uh, floor ten. Floor ten seems like a good number. Floor ten is extremely hard. I strongly suggest you guys download this app. It's on Android and Apple. It's extremely fun. I like to play it uh, in between Clash of Desert, so I often switch between both, so I don't get bored of one game from playing it for too long. But yeah, it, it's free. I'm pretty sure it's MA15 plus because there is a lot of gore. Uh, but I've got it disabled at the minute for YouTube's sake. The gore does look pretty awesome though, I have to admit. A lot of detail has gone into this game. Okay, alright. Let's go ahead and talk about what we're doing now though. So, I'm pretty sure this is floor 2. I don't like to get the caffeine. Yeah, it makes it harder. Your character speeds up so fast. Especially when you get caffeine 5 times. Without it slowing down, it's it's just crazy. You can't really do much at the higher levels, especially if you're getting caffeine. So if you guys are playing this game, once you get to the high levels, try to avoid caffeine. Because as you can see, I just got caffeine, and it speeds you up so much. It's good to get past the first few levels, but once you get to level, ah, oh, speed. Um, once you get to level seven or eight. You really want to avoid that caffeine because it does speed you up so much. Like, Alright, so we're going up to floor 5 now. This is when it gets a little bit more tricky. I usually die around 5 or 6. Oh man, so if you click the screen, he basically rolls forward, so it's a lifesaver. I click the screen there. Oh no, there's a shark there. Damn. Alright, so... Every 5,000 meters, he upgrades, or sorry, levels up. So currently he's at 14. I have to get him up to 40,000 meters to be able to upgrade him to, sorry, level him up to 15. This game is extremely new, though, so there are, I don't know, bugs and a load of things to come. So definitely download this game if you want to get a head start. But I'm saving up as many gems as you can. Gems are the blue crystals. So I'm saving it up as many as I can because you can buy mystery boxes which are a thousand uh, gems each and you can get some cool characters. There's loads of characters. Uh, a lot of them come from purchasing with in real life money but you can still get... Okay, how did that happen? Jesus Christ. But you can still get a bunch of heroes from uh, mystery crates. I'll show you that shortly after this uh, run. But... It's going to take a while to get 100 grand. I'll get it eventually. Damn, I missed that helmet. That helmet, you always need to get the helmet. If you see a helmet, go for it no matter what. Basically gives you a second chance. Okay, that roll is extremely helpful. <laughs> if I didn't have that roll, I probably wouldn't even have close to my high score right now. Also, knock the workers over. They give you some coins. Alright, roll. Oh man, that was close. Jeez, okay. That was really close. I'm gonna get this caffeine. See how I'm in, how let's see if we can get to hold on. Alright, so let's see how much caffeine we can get and see if it gets us to five. Let's see if we can stack up caffeine enough to be able to get to five. 
Wait, if I make it to floor five with like five caffeine, that's crazy. Because as you can see, the more caffeine you, oh damn, the more caffeine you get, the uh, faster you go. So it's more difficult. So you want to, like I said earlier, avoid the caffeine. I think this will be the last run I do, depending on how well we do for today. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys this game. It's extremely fun. It's addictive. I don't think you need internet to be able to play it, so you can play it, I don't know, on the way to school, or on the train, I don't know, just random things when you're bored. Even if you're just bored at home, just flop out your phone, start running. Yeah, yeah it's just so addictive, and it's fun too, because there's a leaderboard, and you can try to get them to the top of the leaderboard. It's a, You have to get lucky to be able to get to be able to get on the leaderboard, though, because it does get pretty pretty hard on some levels. I mean, every level is different depending on how your level set up. Oh, sorry, how your run is set up depends on how good you're going to do because you could get uh, obstacles spaced out so much but then you can get them pretty close together on another run. So it, it's, it's just completely random. If you guys have ever played Temple Run, it's sort of like that. I, I find it a little bit easier than Temple Run though. Well, not easier though. I mean, Temple Run is pretty easy, but I've played... Well, how do I do that? Uh, Temple Run is easier for most people, but you're used to Temple Run. As people get more used to this game, it's going to get easier and easier. So as you click, so you can see we've got a trophy down the right-hand bottom corner. Click on that. Basically brings up the Google Play leaderboards, I'm pretty sure. So you can click on social or all. I am... In the top 1%, so I'm not that amazing, but as you can see, Flash 17P has 3,600 meters, and then Ashy Win has 1,800, then Mr. Crayfish has 1.4k. So, no one's uh, too amazing yet. I mean, there's definitely gonna be more people on the board as more people come. Let's see if I can find myself though. I'm probably so far below. I'm pretty sure I was like 770 something. No, we're too far below to be able to see. Where are we be at? I wonder how many people can go on the leaderboard. I want to see where I'm at. All right, all right, we should be here soon. Got to slow down a little bit. I hope it's easy to find your name. All right, so it should be here any second. Where is it? Have we already gone past it? I think we've already gone. I think we have 755. Alright, so 756, there we go. I'm right there, so far below. I mean, at least I can scroll to my name. Not too bad. Let's see our uh, total combined distance. Let's see what that's at. I've got 37,000. Where does that put me? Does that put me close? No, nowhere near. Wait, am I in the top 1%? Yeah, I'm in the top 1%, so that's alright. At least we're going to be able to sort of get closer to the top 100. I only really started playing this game in the last day. I have I've had this game for a few days, but I've only really started putting more effort into it. But as you can see, you can purchase mystery boxes for a thousand gems each. I've got twenty eight thousand, so we're getting close. Once I get a hundred thousand, I'm gonna do a one hundred uh, mystery box opening. Hopefully that'll be cool. But anyhow, if you guys did enjoy this video, I know it was a little bit different. I haven't played this game before. This game isn't really advertised much on YouTube, so. Uh, not many people are making videos on it. If you guys want to see more of this, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe to the channel, comment down below, and until next time, goodbye.